Hey, how you doing? This is uh, Canarsie Joe doing the Fat Motor Review, the uh, limited deluxe WW2 version. As you can see, you got the fat ties, you got the bags in the back, the mirrors, the whole song and dance. I want to talk to you about my overall um, feeling about this bike. And it came partially assembled. Assembled. The front tie has to come along with the handlebars from this section on. Sands the bracket and the bags. They have to has to be installed. Just a few things that I, I want to note is the brakes have to be adjusted uh, quite a few number of times. If you're familiar with bicycle braking, it's a ratchet system, also like an S cam on a truck with adjustment in the back. If you adjust this too much clockwise, you're gonna push out the brake pad and it's gonna fall down. So be no, you know, just be mindful of when you adjust this, but have to be adjusted. The back is the same as the front, so I'm not gonna go over the back. So you're gonna adjust the cable here. You're gonna adjust the, the brake pad in the back. Um, the shocks are pretty good, they're stiff, the bracket's pretty strong. You have your lights, you're gonna attach that. You have your horn, you have your side view mirrors. You have the Shimano adjustment for gearing. It doesn't really go up and down that much. You're not really buying this bike to use as a bicycle, although you can. I would say stay, stay in sixth gear and it'll give you enough. I'm in fourth gear right now, but you can stay in sixth gear. It's pretty much optimal uh, to use this bike without the engine. And so here you go with the Lifon Chinese engine. Uh, there's you have your chain drive, you have your, your J-shaft, this bolt, and there's a similar bolt on the other side that has to be removed. I'll put lock on that. At some point, I'm gonna change these bolts to a, uh, to a um, eight hardened steel uh, bolt. And you have your primary drive in here, your centrifugal clutch in here behind this. I'm not gonna take the cover off and your vice and your chain drive for the engine. And then on this side, if you come around, you're gonna have your Shimano bicycle drive. You can pedal the lift on engine. I had, uh, so that's pretty much about it. What I had the problems with, but the biggest things I had to deal with was the braking, as I suggested. I had a leak at this post here, which I had to remove that and put some sealant on that. Otherwise, she runs well, starts up good. The tires, but they break and you have to spray a little WD-40, go a little higher than the recommended 20 PSI on the ties, let them seat, you could drop it, you know, go back to 25 and then drop it down to 20. Just your seat, just like a bicycle. Also, I suggest once you get it started, you have your standard choke and you have your fuel on and off, which is good. This, this bike, it doesn't smell, it does hold the fuel fairly well. Once you pull start it, when you initially want to take off, you're going to pedal a little bit, engage your throttle, and then once you get the inertia, she goes, she holds a steady 25 miles per hour as stated. I said the brakes were adjusted now before that, I had a little bit of hard time stopping. I took it out, I bought it about two weeks ago, I have about 15, 20 miles. She runs good, she keeps steady going up hills. She has the power to go up and down the hills for this 79cc engine. I'll give more reviews as I move forward, but initially uh, I would say be a little bit mechanically inclined. The directions they give you are as useless as a tits on a goose. So you have to have something underneath uh, the skin there. You know, I'm a mechanic by trade. So you don't need that much, but you have to be mechanically inclined to kind of figure out. Without the engine running, it's very noisy. The drivetrain is very noisy when you do pedal. It has very little restriction, but it is noisy. Also, if you note here on this tension wheel, it's a little bit off. You can't see it from this angle. And at some point, I would either do a scrub pad like for a timing belt or timing chain in a vehicle, or I would bend this bracket because it's not dead on. It should be completely parallel. So that a little rubbing, I added grease. Definitely have to add high temp grease to this chain and the primary chain behind this cover. So I'm gonna be using the hell out of it. Also the oil, I would say use a, you know, if they say 1030, I wouldn't use automotive oil. I would use a Briggs & Stratton or a Honda four-stroke lawn mower or uh, a landscaping type of application. Uh, also too, they should include, because there were some scratches, they should include some type of toucher paint, with, paint what they don't. It is a little pricey. But if you're not, if you want to get away from registering and insuring a motorcycle and just to scoot around and it does go, you know, off terrain, I mean, it has the power to do so. Um, you're not going to be climbing Mount Everest with this thing, but it's kind of fun to get into town, load your bags up. Uh, if you want to fabricate a seat on the back for a, you know, lady friend or something like that, to make some pegs, you could do that. But uh, so far, I'm happy with it where I had to go. Um, I have ran it full throttle, steady, you know, five, you know, five, eight miles. Uh, where I go into town on an exercise a little more than that, but it seems to be pretty dependable, easy to change oil, easy to work on. Obviously, it's not much to it, 
So in the future, I'm gonna do a little more endurance review. Uh, there's a guy on YouTube that says he got 15,000 miles out of this thing. He has a couple, I don't know what he's doing, but it's, uh, I wanna see that myself. Um, but his bike is different, he has a small tires. This is, I've never seen a review with this bike for an endurance type of review. So hopefully that's helpful. Um, you know, like I said, I'll, for more endurance information of what seems to be a, a little soft spot in these things, I'll let you know, but so far so good. Also too, as an upgrade that I'm gonna consider as time goes on, Harbor Freight makes a, a ghost engine, 200cc, which have this thing, uh, you know, I don't think be jumping the Caesar's, uh, Caesar, uh, Caesar Palace like Evil Knievel, but it'll get you a more over speed than 25 miles an hour. So that's it, that's Canarsie Joe on the Fat Motor Review. Hopefully that helps, and uh, we'll hear from you in the future, as long as this thing doesn't go on fire and blow up.